Hello, this is Bob with Rather Be Racing again. Um, I just wanted to go over a quick video um, with the fuel system that I've done on the 240SX LS swap. So I will start at the tank. Up in here, there's the inlet and outlet. And I ran it kind of through the brackets, the original ones, and then kind of tucked around another bracket there, the original one, um, and then into a fuel pressure regulator from a C6 Corvette. So there's the inlet and the outlet right there. And um, the outlet will just return, the return will go back to the, the tank. Um, and then from there, all AN fittings through with clamps on the frame rail. And then up through here, kind of the original one and through. And then I'll pop it down and show you the top on how it works. Okay, we're up top here now. You can see it coming up down there. Coming up, zip tied, kind of close to the firewall. Um, and then I have a filter there, the high performance filter. Coming around and just and fitting right into the fuel rail. Um, for whoever is doing this, um, I recommend getting fuel rails. I think I'm going to run into issues with leaks probably with these these fuel spacers. Um, there's not a lot of space um, inside here. There's a very tiny hole that this goes into. So these spacers pretty much go right up top into there and um, it kind of like chokes the fuel off. And that's a LM7 truck injector. Um, because the LS1 injector is a lot taller. Um, so that's another option, just buy LS1 um, injectors or try and find an intake manifold that has the rail with the injectors with it. That's my recommendation for that. Um, yeah, so that's the fuel system. If anyone has any questions or comments, let me know.